double up. Three or four times, I ain't telling no lies. I just Tell you, I guess it's time to let you guys get to know a little bit about me, who I am. And as you can see, I already did part of my twists with my favorite twist cream, which is this. It's my favorite twist cream. So a little bit about me. Twenty-five. Really, nigga. I am a YouTuber. I am an aspiring actress. I am a radio personality. I am also in the medical field. I have no kids. I'm going to do the shady but I don't have them yet. But yeah. Um, I want about like max five you feel like everybody should become an entrepreneur and make their own money i feel like which is weird because it's just like you know if you become an entrepreneur who can work for who where da, 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 da. Well, because i always say i want everybody to become an entrepreneur and i do because i feel like i feel like some of these companies are bullshit i feel like for one, they only pay you like a motherfucker. Two, they don't treat you with respect. Mm -hmm. Three, they talk to you like you like you fucking did it a dog. Like you're stupid. Ooh, lip check animal. Ooh. They talk to you like you just stupid. Like you just like they didn't interview you to see if you meet the qualifications that they want for their job. Like, but they still act like you stupid. You know? But yeah. I feel like it, it doesn't take that much to to make a hustle. You gotta do your research. That's one thing you have to do. You have to be big on doing your research. Heavy big on your research too. It takes time to do to perfect the craft. It take time. So your business is your craft. It's gonna take time. Me, I've been working on my last line for a minute, meaning like you know, going through different vendors. You gotta find the right vendors, you gotta find the right prices that that fit with your you know your pockets and then number two most of these lash places you know these meek 3d 25 uh, milliliter them lashes like they're all the good ones they're all overseas so it'll take about two weeks to a month for anything to even come in even sample so you know it, it do get frustrating a little bit it really does but baby girl <laughs> baby girl I'm telling you it'd be all worth it promoting yourself like free promotion promote yourself even you can even get other people to promote your crap people who got businesses people who you look up to all you have to do okay so money money speaks okay money talks and and if it meets your standards let them promote you and now it's about a 10 it's gonna get you it's gonna get you some people it's gonna get you some people but back to my last line is going to be called cherish forever just like my youtube just like my instagram it's gonna be called cherish forever I'm trying to make my name a brand yes that is my real government name I'm gonna try to make that a brand but i'm gonna start off with like three to four styles three to four different styles just to see what I like, and I only, I'm only going to have a small amount, like 30 or 40, something like that, like that small. I'm going to have like that small amount. And that's just to see how everything do, you know. So my new product should arrive within the next two weeks, hopefully. And then the only thing I got to get next is stickers, and then I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm legit, I'm on the way, you know. And I'll show y'all, you know, I add pictures and I add videos on for my lashes. Like, you know, you can. Purchase them. They're going to be 20 and up plus shipping. So probably like 25 per pair. And I'm also thinking about adding the, the lash applicator. Thinking about it, but I don't know. 
Uh, who knows? If I do know, of course, you know, it's going to be more. But that's the whole thing is like, I'm not trying to break nobody's pockets. But baby, you got to pay for quality, okay? You got to pay for what you want, okay? You can't come to me and expect me to hook you up with some fly lashes for only $10, baby girl. Because, no, this is not going to happen. If anything, no, no, it's not going to happen. It's not. Like, you gotta, ooh, man, stuff on. <laughs> you gotta pay for quality. You know, nobody wants to play themselves. And because y'all want to turn these people um, asking for a freaking discount as soon as y'all walk in and so do my business. But y'all always say, oh, we need to support black businesses. And, oh, you know, black businesses, they too expensive. And they're expensive because they actually got quality in their craft. Type of coconut oil I get, it'd be like eight nine dollars, and it's from. Hold on, wait. I got this. It's from this company right here. This is the conditioner I use. This is the shampoo that I use, and I use this oil. It's a coconut oil that comes. It's like clear and gold, and it comes from this company. This company right here. It's, 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 it's freaking expensive. <laughs> what I also like to use, I also like to use this. This is the co wash. I started using this when I was living in Savannah, Georgia. Boom, that is the bomb. I'm telling you. That's why black businesses cost so much because they actually have quality in their craft, you know? And now it's like the 10 when you're natural. When people make natural products, it's actually natural, like avocado and like egg and mayonnaise, you know, real natural, natural oils, jojoba oil, coconut oil, um, just every, any type of oil, you know, real shit is going to be expensive. I like, I also like using black soap. <laughs> you know how much that shit costs? For a bar of soap? She like eight, nine dollars for a fucking bar of soap. One bar of soap. But that bar of soap does most of the job. It cleans your hair and it also is used for your body, also used for your face. So it's like three in one. So why wouldn't I pay $10 for a soap that reach different purposes? You know, and that's another thing with my lashes. My lashes, you get up to 20 to 30, 20 to 30 times to, you know, for your lashes before you got to get another pair. So that's another reason why my lashes are that expensive. So another thing my lashes are that expensive because they're real meat fur. And I made sure that, and I've sent many things back if I didn't feel like it met my criteria. Like, <laughs> you know, money is everything, and but you know, I need good craft too. So how am I gonna sell y'all some shitty shit? If it should do me, why would I just turn this my brain before I even started? No, hell no, I wouldn't do shit like that. <sighs> But baby girl, let's talk about Beyonce. Did y'all not see that freaking homecoming? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Let me just say that I sat there for two hours and sixteen. Was it two hours and seventeen years or two hours and seven minutes? Do something like that. But I sat there for every second and I watched her. And I know a lot of people be like, you know, she's overrated or she performed the same music and da 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 da. First of all, it doesn't matter if she performs the same music because it's her music. So, what y'all not gonna do? Y'all not gonna be talking about her. <laughs> I don't care if she performing for 120, 20, 30 years. Y'all gonna respect her. Bow down, bitches. No, for real. Every time she performs her song, it's like different performances. It's, it's, it's a different character that she put on. That's, that's what's more entertaining. It's the, it's the craft, like I said. She started what rehearsing like six to eight months before she even put on her show like baby i can't do that i'm off in hell no like <laughs> see this then that's why i'm not an entertainer like that that's why i'm not a singer that's why i'm not a rapper because baby girl <sighs> eight months just for rehearsal oh hell no what i'm talking about i'm trying to be an actress 
and I've actually been on set before and I've been on set for like 13, 12, 13 hours with heels on standing there because these motherfuckers want to forget their lines but when you in that field if you understand that you know they got to retake about <laughs> they got to retake about 20, 30 times from different angles and and all that crazy stuff. Really nigga? Hey, you want something? You need something? Okay. But Kim Kardashian. Because I just got done watching her uh, her episode with the Kardashian girl, baby girl. When she got um that one lady, I think it's Allison. Miss, Miss Allison Johnson? Tennessee? That lady that was doing 20. She was in jail for 21 years, y'all. 21 years, guess for what y'all? For some freaking drugs. When you got killers and murderers out here that's getting like 10, 15 years for actually taking a whole life. And y'all give this lady, this great grandmother, decades to be in there for freaking drugs when she probably only did it back in the day to see her family because y'all know how hard it was back in the day. But still, around that time, it was hard because, you know, my mama wasn't on the same. My mama had to get it how she had to get it. It's eight of us. Four girls, four boys. So my mother had to, you know, she had to hustle. And my mother is one of the number one hustlers that I know. And that I will always respect. You know, you. I watched my mother hustle. You feel me? Like, she tried not to, you know, like, show me. But then again, she tried to show me, like, let's just say you could put me in a jungle naked and I'm going to come out with a chinchilla on okay let's just say i'm a fine i'm a fine for firm okay and i'm gonna put it on me okay i'm just saying that i'm gonna i know how to make ends meet yeah. but baby girl baby girl doing some good shit y'all and then it's like i see a lot of people bashing her like oh you know the kardashians the curse and this and that but i don't see too many other people that's using their platform to do something good i don't like that lady that and that was just that was just the first step of her doing something good, you know? And it didn't stop from there. Cause if if y'all been paying attention, like me, because you know I'm nosy, I'll be all up in the media shit. <laughs> like, she actually is about to graduate from law school and what? What's this twenty what's this, twenty nineteen? She's supposed to be graduating what, twenty twenty who? Twenty twenty three or some shit like that? Like she's actually going to school for this shit who you know that's gonna change like their whole headline of their life like their whole storyline to become a lawyer to help people black people well i'm not even just gonna say black people because that is it shouldn't be a race thing just to help people in general like people period like she's using her platform which she should we need a lot more people to to do that but most of these celebrities they're stuck up they're stuck up, they're, they're arrogant, they're disrespectful, they're rude. They won't speak to you, they won't, they don't want to be around you, they act like you a fucking bug, okay? And, uh, yeah, it's crazy. I'm not gonna make no name. You know, I've, you know, I've been on set and the first thing that they say to us is, like for instance, when I auditioned for a barbershop three, what, you know, Ice Cube, Nick Minaj, the mom Nick Minaj in it, I had a chance for that. When I auditioned for that, the first thing that when we sat down the first thing do not speak to the actors when if you when you see them next to you don't speak to them be next to Beyonce and just be like oh okay that's Beyonce no I'm going no hell no uh -uh. but I mean it, it is it is what it is but you know some of them some of them come out and speak to you like I did underground I did a scene next to um Bo King Woodman and I mean, he was cool, but you can, I mean, it was like 100 degrees. First of all, me and Savannah. Savannah hot as fuck. So it was like 100 degrees, and he has on all his makeup and his wig, and he's playing a blind man. So, you know, you know, I, I know it's kind of, you know, it's kind of hard, you know. And even though they say we can't speak to him, you know, I wanted to speak to him. You know, I did, because I loved him ever since I seen Jason Lyric. I wanted to, you know, speak to him, but... Every time, like, he was alone, all you see was him. 
that's all you see him doing. And when I realized what he was doing is the reason why they don't let us come up to these actors is because the whole time they're reciting their lines. They're trying to memorize their lines. But I had to really be in that scene. Not even just that scene. I had to really just be in that scene just to understand it because I never understand it before. But Honey Baby Girl, my little doogie twist. It's going to become pretty when I take them out. So the whole purpose of me doing this video is to get y'all, just to get to know me just a little bit. You know, just to, just a little bit. If you got any more questions, you know, you can always comment at the bottom. The next day. Okay, so now I'm going to use my favorite mint almond oil by Mayel. It's $13.99 in a retail store, but hot me, I got it for free. I got it for an event from my mentor's event. And as you can see, I put a little bit too much. So as you can see, I'm just getting it all through my hair and I want y'all to see this curl, baby. Look at this curl, baby. I'm telling you, this curl. But we just gonna go ahead and fast forward, y'all. You know, so I'm sure y'all don't want to see all that. Y'all know how to take down twists, I'm sure. <laughs> so I just want to get a little bit into this this oil. Why this is one of my favorite oils. It's a natural light-based formula. It soothes this dry and itchy scalp. It helps reduce breakage and shedding, y'all. You cannot tell me. And it's an all-natural product. And it's from a black woman. So this curl I lie, which is my also one of my favorite twist creams it's curl a lot it smells really good it come in a clear bottle and it got a black top and it's from auntie jackie's and the actual product is purple and it smells so freaking amazing y'all it smells so good and it also helps with flyaways and help you also define your twists when you take down your twists i like to take it down from the bottom to the top meaning one by one and i also try to make sure at least oil is on my hand while i'm taking down the twist because i don't want to mess up the twist because as you can see i just literally just take it apart before i section it out more and more but yeah girl a few moments later girl i'm trying to tell you look at this hair though like Y'all cannot tell me like already it's not looking already a little bit flat. And I ain't even take the rest of the twists out, y'all. Now I'm about to use this comb. I don't have the real big thick comb like everybody else. So baby girl, you know you gotta work with what you got, girl. So I had to dig it. Girl, I had to dig that out. The deep of the deep of the deep of the dress of hunty. I ain't lying. Look at this fluff though. Oh my god. And I'm gonna teach y'all a trick too on how to make y'all hair bigger with a comb. I'm gonna teach y'all the trick when y'all take out y'all twists. Boom. This is the trick, y'all. All you have to do is comb out your roots. But baby girl, you gotta make sure you get in there. I felt like it was a little bit more effective for me to use my nails. So as you can see, I'm digging through my hair. But that's alright though because I'm going to get the same results. Hunty, hunty. Ooh, ooh, hold on, wait. There we go. Ooh, honey, honey, bunch. Look at you. Ew, ew, ooh, ew, lip chain, eh. <laughs> you got to have a good sense of hearing, y'all. You got to. Especially on your way to work. That's the uniform I have on. Oh my God. It looks so bloated. Jesus. But back to the hair. Look at it. Look at it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is another oil that I also like to use, Jamaica Black Castor Oil Coconut. Oh my God, I use that to kind of seal in my moisture. Now that oil right there is thick and it's like a orange, it's like a burnt orange color. As you can see, it's running down my hand, but it's really thick, y'all, it's really thick. I had that bottle for about, ooh, geez, for about a year and a half. And it's still halfway 
full. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's a good product. That, that was about $10 or so. Probably a little bit more. I don't remember. But, honey, we got to get to this back. We got to get to the back of the kitchen, honey. We got to make sure the kitchen looks good, baby. Hunty, hunty. There we go, there we go. We almost, ooh, home. <laughs> Y'all, I'm just really starting out with this YouTube stuff, so please bear with me. <laughs> but look at my hair already. As you can see, from the distance that you are from me. You can see them curls. You see them curls popping, honey? You see them? But you know I gotta get them edges, baby. You know I gotta slick, slick, slickity, slick, slick. Them edges down, but baby girl, I don't have an edge brush or an edge comb, so we gonna go to act the old fashioned way. A toothbrush. Don't ever forget where you came from, ladies. Never. <laughs> Another thing I wanted to add. Before you take down your tweezers, please make sure that your tweezers are dry. It will not come out the same. I promise you, it will not come out the same. Your curls will not hold. I repeat, your curls will not hold. But look at this hair, though. I use Gorilla Snow, too, y'all. I use that on top of the gel just to make sure that my edge is not going to work because baby girl my edges i don't know what's going on with my edges like they so curly nothing lays them down literally nothing lays my edges down like nothing nothing anything but gorilla snot glue that's the only thing that holds my hair down the only thing This is the finished product, y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. Three or four times, I ain't telling no lies. I just run it up. Never let a hard time humble us.